Steel Test, the name that means topmost quality. In ice cream, milk, and other dairy products, presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. How to be a boy astronomer. First, procure for your... What does procure mean? Lynn, what does procure mean? It means, uh, get, I think, Ollie. Oh, okay. Procure lost. <laughs> get it? <laughs> Jack, did you get that? Very good. <laughs> Try it again. What is it? What does procure mean, Lynn? Uh, it means get, I think, Ollie. Lynn, procure loss. Get it, Jackson? <laughs> Very funny. I didn't think it was so funny. This shows what kind of a sense of humor you have. Procure for yourself a telescope. Well, I have that. This is the one that Kukla won last year for selling the perfume, remember? <laughs> ah, <clears throat> now... The heavenly bodies. The heavenly bodies are made up of several different kinds of objects. There are the stars, the planets, the meteors, the planetoids. Planetoids? What's a planetoid? The planetoids, the comets, and so forth. Well, yeah. that's interesting. There are also satellites. What's a satellite, Lynn? Um, what's an and so forth? Well, I don't know. I just, you're not asking me the questions. I'm asking you the question. I want to know what a satellite is. Jack, do you know what a satellite is? Uh, some small uh, star. Star? I don't think so. It says, it says stars here. It says and satellite. Oh, here it is, right? It's a footnote. There's an asterisk. Right down here. <laughs> a satellite is the moon. <laughs> That's silly. Shine on harvest satellite. <laughs> <clears throat> satellite over Miami. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah. <clears throat> Says, oh. Where was I? The asterisk. I'll go back. There's the asterisk. Okay. <clears throat> A satellite is a small moon. <clears throat> uh, now, there are uh, constellations. Well, now that's a silly thing to be looking at through a telescope, a constellation. How can you keep a telescope focused on a constellation that goes so fast? It's ridiculous. There are constellations of stars. Oh, constellations of stars. I thought they meant the airplane. <laughs> oh, honestly. Sometimes I'm awfully stupid. What am I saying? All right. You just look for the different constellations. Look for the planets. Mm -hmm. Planetoid. Yeah. Might as well look and see what I can see first. This has always fascinated me since I was a young dragon in the dragon press. Astronomy has been one of my, perhaps my most really, whoops, one of my most really, uh, oh, uh, most intriguing, shall we say, uh, studies. I have always loved astronomy. And it's a uh, high time I was getting, you know, as a matter of fact, as a young boy, dragon, that is, I was thinking of being an astronomer. And it's just wonderful to be able to get back into the, the whole business, believe me. Well, let's see what we can see. Fellas, open up the roof. Fellas. Nobody up there. Boom, boy, would you mind climbing up on the boom and opening up the roof? Not at all, Ollie. 
Okay, get up there. <laughs> Open a little bit. That's better now. Open a way up. Fine. Oh. <laughs> Had it pointed at the boom boy. That's <laughs> 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 oh, Didn't have anything at all, just the roof. These new classrooms, too. <laughs> Hope we saw another show. There we go. The Northern Lights! Look, there's the moon! There's the moon! Yes, ah, sir, that's the moon! That's the... The spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> Just flashed across the sky. Went right across my telescope here. I wonder what it could be. I wonder if I could see it with the naked eye. But excuse the expression. There another one went. What could it be? Gee, just like a like a big streak of lightning, only not quite so big, really. Uh. There. There it goes back. What could it be? Twinkle, twinkle, little streak. Whatever are you? Hmm? Do I? I thought maybe it was a meteor. Or a falling star. Or a shooting star. If you prefer. That was one. Yes, sir, that was one. Cook! Cook! Come up here! Come here! What? What's happening? Look, look in there! Right in the telescope! What are you doing with my telescope? Never mind, I'm being a boy astronomer. Look in there! What do you see? I can't see anything there. Well, look again! What do you see? Jack Fashionado has a hangnail! Oh, cool! <laughs> no, 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 but you're not looking at the right place up there. It's a streak. Another one. It's a shooting star. It's a meteor. I wonder what it says about meteors. Let's look in here. Okay. Golly. Where are we? Tree houses. No. No, I am. Here we are. Astronomy. Astronomy. Boy, astronomy. Planetoid. Asterisk. No. Nope. Turn the page. Oh, here it is. Meteors. Meteors are shooting stars. Sometimes they are small particles of dust, or sometimes they are as large as uh, great apples, or sometimes they are very huge, weighing several tons. A one fell in Arizona many years ago. One fell in Russia many years ago. But none uh, up to this time has caused much damage to Earth. Meteors are very valuable. Meteors are very valuable. How's the budget? Low. Oh, cool. Let's see if we could, if we could only find a meteor we might... I could be a great, I could be a great scientist if I found one. <laughs> well, there go, Cook, I'm going to look for one. Ollie, don't be silly. You're not going to be able to find it. Look, look what it says here. Ollie. There we go. I where Fran is today. Fran! Jack, did you see Fran? I haven't seen her all day, Cook. Lynn, did you see Fran? No, I haven't, Cook. Where she could be? Meteors. Usually a meteor burns out before it hits the ground because of the friction when it meets the Earth's atmosphere. Atmosphere. Sometimes they fall to the Earth but bury themselves very deep within and so they are difficult to find. But that is seldom. Most of them burn out. Ollie, you're wait I'm wasting my time talking to Ollie. He's not even around. 
real fun, though. I don't think there's anything more wonderful than looking at the moon or the stars. Or the <laughs> Lady, you have a gray hair. <laughs> Look at the Zoomar now. Where's the Zoomar now? <laughs> I can see you. Can you see me? Look. <laughs> oh, Cass, you look so silly. Oh, it's not Cass, it's the camera. <laughs> I'm going to look at this. Look at the telescope. Look at half the France. Everything looks so far away. Jack! Where are you? Come on to the next studio. <laughs> <laughs> looks just like you're in the next studio. It looks far away. <laughs> in the world could have happened to France, for heaven's sake. Well, oh, are you through? I guess he is. I'll take it down. Looks like a microscope now. Oh, maybe we can use it for that. Cook! <laughs> Cook! What? Where are you? Downstairs, quick. I found it. Hurry up! Where? What? Look, look, look! Oh, for heaven's sake! Look, I found! I did! I found it! The meteor! It's my meteor! <laughs> my meteor! I found it! I'm going to be famous! I'm going to be successful! I shall give up the show business! I'm not going to be a singer anymore, or an actor, or anything! I'm going to be a scientist! Yes! I shall look to the stars now, instead of down here on the Earth! Yes, I have an entirely different viewpoint. Who? I'm going to be an astronomer. Just think of it. Olivier Dragon, astronomer. Olivier? Well, I'll change it to Olivier. It sounds better. Well, but, but... Kook, this is the beginning. Well, where in the world did you find it? How do you know it's a meteor? It's cold. It isn't hot. Well, it's uh, landed in the icebox. It did? No, not exactly in the icebox. Near the icebox. Down in the kitchen. Landed right there, so that's why it cooled off very quickly. Well, how did it, did it knock a hole through the roof? No, Kukla. It was so hot when it came down that it sealed the roof as it made the hole right through it. This went boom and the roof just sealed right up again. I can show you the scar. On the roof? Yes. Well, it's just where the plaster has to be repaired. It is not. That's where it came through. Here we go, folks. Hang on. Cook. Yeah. Get it, will you? Okay. A minute. Hold on. Just a minute. Hello. Hello. This is the uh, Cuckoo Park and Astronomer Society. Oh, hello, friend. Sorry. Where are you? We looked for you. What? You're shopping. Well, what happened? You what? But the stores are closed. Well, they're keeping it open until you decide on a hat? Well, Fran, I wish you'd... Oh, well, that sounds real pretty. Yeah. Well, he's off on some... He... He's off on another tangent. Yes, you better get back soon and hold things down. Or else you talk to him. Ollie! Ollie! Yes, Koopa. Please call me Olivier now, won't you? Oh, come on now. Get off. It's Fran. Oh, good. I'll tell her of my good fortune. Hello, cutie. <laughs> um, what? Why aren't you here? Something exciting has happened. I've just found... I've just... I've just... Oh, that's nice. What color is it? Flowers in the front, huh? Oh, that ought to be pretty. Now, I like you in the big hat. But don't get a floppy one. I like the Crips one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, I found the meteor. No, 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 not the gas meteor. A meteor. <laughs> she thought it was a gas meteor. Oh. No, I found the meteor. A shooting star. A falling star. Yeah. I don't know where it came from. It came out of the nowhere, into the here. And I'm going to be a famous astronomer. And listen, I want you to do something. When are you going to come over? Well, no, don't come right away. No, stay. No, I got something to... I want you to do something. 
Yeah. No. Go right over. Go right over to the Field Museum, will you? And talk to them and tell them tell them we've got a big, a wonderful meteor. And then go out to the observatory. If you have time, maybe you could fly out to California. Yeah. yeah you know, there's uh, Mount Wilson and Palomar and all those. Why don't you? Yeah. Will you? Will you? No, it's a meteor, isn't it, Kukla? I don't know. He doesn't know, but I do. Yeah. Would you do that? Oh, Fran, what? we need her on the show. Not today. She can go out and take care of... Yeah. Okay, cutie. We'll get over as soon as you can. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Stick with me. You'll be wearing sable. <laughs> hmm? Well, I don't know. May not be a lot of money in it, but at least you will be famous. Sure. You could be my inspiration, see, and I'll be sitting in, hmm? I'll be sitting in the, in, I'll be sitting in the, in the, in my astronomer's place, you know, the observatory. I'll be sitting there night after night, gazing at the stars. And you'll come in and you'll say to, you, hello, friend. Hung up. Well, I guess you'll be over in a minute. What's this the friend's going to do? Oh, I wouldn't tell you to play. You, you're too practical. Hello, baby. We're going places, you and I. <laughs> it's been places. <laughs> I can just see it sitting in the observatory at night, studying hard, my eyes tired from searching the skies, just about to discover a new planet. Comes a little knock at the door. I'll say, come in without taking my eye from the telescope. And in will come Fran. And she'll say, Olivier, dear, you haven't been to sleep for three days. Olivier, dear, you haven't eaten since early morning. I prepared you a small snack. Fried chicken, roast beef, mashed potatoes, gravy, and dessert. <laughs> oh, that'll be wonderful. And I'll say, my dear, you are my only consolation. And she'll say, it's very difficult being, being the inspiration for a scientist, but I believe in your work, Olivier. So keep going. Oh, I can see it now. Hello? Come in. Olivier, dear, you haven't slept for three whole days. I know it, my dear, but I'm discovering... Oh, Kufa. I'll play in the park. Olivier, dear, you haven't slept for three whole days. Won't you take a little nap? No, I am almost tracking it down now, my dear. Aren't you hungry, Olivier, my dear? Yes, I am hungry, but I don't have time to take away from my telescope. So I'm just going to stay here. I prepared you a little snack, something very special I think you will like. Wait. What's this? I'm not Kook, I'm Fran now. Francis, what is this? This is called the Solar System Sunday. The Solar System Sunday? Yes, and I have named it in honor of you, my great beloved scientist. Oh, how delightful. Well, explain it to me. Well, I have sort of tried to arrange it, uh, according to my meager knowledge of astronomy, uh, according to the uh, relation of the planets, although I do not have them in their relative size. And I have skipped two or three here where it was necessary because the tray wasn't large enough. But pretend the sun is here. Yes. This is Mercury. Hello, Mercury. This is Venus. Hello, Venus. This is Earth. Hello, Mother. <laughs> now, I've left off Mars and uh, Jupiter because I have something very special. Well, what's that? That looks like a... Flying disc or something. No, it's a donut. It's a donut week. Oh, that's true. That's true. Well, what's the idea? That isn't a Sunday. <laughs> it will be. It isn't a planet either. It will be. Just take a scoop and put it right in the middle like that. And it's Saturn. Saturn? Sure. Saturn's a planet with a, with a donut around it. <laughs> Ooh, that looks awful good. <laughs> Seal test ice cream. Naturally, my dear. Oh. A real solar system Sunday. Oh, you're so thoughtful. 
The steel test ice cream is so creamy, so smooth. And you, Mother Earth, so packed with flavor. <laughs> and you, little Saturn, so fine-grained in texture. <sighs> I shall work all night, and I shall discover new stars and planets. I shall, I shall, I shall. Well, I'll take it downstairs in the meantime. It might melt. Besides, I think there's enough for several of us. The Solar System Sunday. The Seal Test Solar System Sunday. What a name. What a brain. Oh, and look. I'm willing to go along with the gag, and that's commercial and everything. But don't you think you ought to do something? Well, I mean, look, check this thing. Let's not get carried away. You could check it with a real astronomer. A real fellow that knows the business. Who is there that I know that could help me? Well, I've got news for you. Do you know Dave Garraway is a very prominent astronomer? Dave Garraway? Certainly. He, uh... He was a professor at the, uh, I think, Harvard. Not Harvard. Harvard. Really? And I just happened to call him just a couple minutes ago when Fran didn't come over. So he's going to come in, and uh, I wish you'd talk to him about it. Gladly, gladly. David, are you here? Hello. Good evening, my little friend. How are you? I'm very well. <laughs> Look what I found, a meteor. Kukla tells me you're an expert. You found a what? A meteor, falling star. Oh, you're getting interested in astronomy? Yes, and Kukla tells me you're an astronomer. Oh. You know all I'm about what? the stars. You've got to watch your terms, Holly, if you're going to fool around with... What was that you said? Astronomy? Astronomy. Roughly. Astronomy. Mm -hmm. that, that's not a meteor, I'm sorry. It can't be a meteor. Terms in astronomy are very important. See, if, if it's up in the sky and it's flashing through, then it's a meteor. But if it hits the Earth and somebody finds it like you, then it's a meteorite. Otherwise, you may get the perihelion where the syzygy is supposed to be, and that's not good at all. You've got to be very conscious of these terms. The apogee of your meteorite may be all wrong if you call it a meteor. You, you can understand that as a fellow was trying to run. <laughs> sure. It's just a simple That's matter of keeping your terms straight. This is sensational. I was going to work all by myself, but believe me, I see now a whole new vista open. You and I can work together. Garraway and Dragon. Uh, Dragon and Garraway. It's a little better, I think, that way. Dragon and Garraway. You've got nothing there, I think. <laughs> You're so wonderful. I think we can make a little history together. Yeah, we can work together as a great team. And when Fran brings food uh, for me, she can bring another tray for you. She could be our inspiration, and uh, we could... Ollie, your, your imagination works like mine, I can see. You're a dreamer. You see other worlds and other places and other kinds of life, don't you? I do, Dave. I was thinking, one of the most wonderful things... The... I read science fiction, you know. I write it. <laughs> we ought to get on pretty well. Let you don't really the... write it. Oh, little things I dash off. Wouldn't that be one? Well, you know what I was saying? How wonderful it would be to take a trip to the moon, to the to a rocket ship. Or... Well, the, the moon is all right, but uh, while you're roaming around, why don't you come on out a little further with us? Uh, a lot of us have been in the head just now, of course, going to Venus. Venus is a dandy place to go to. And probably, oh, 10 or 15 years from now, or maybe 100, what does it matter, we'll all be going to Venus for vacations. Okay. Or maybe some of the other planets. Maybe Visit you... Venus for your vacation. Sure. Up there, you see, you'll be lighter, and, and while you'll be a little older, you'll only weigh half as much or so, and so uh, if you're playing golf, you can drive the ball twice as far, or if you're a ski jumper, you can jump twice as far, or if you want to sit down, you feel half as heavy when you get up again. Is it warm up there? It's, it's any temperature you want. It we can like say, it very, very warm. Visit Venus for your winter vacation. <laughs> I always have a commercial eye on these things. If there's a chamber of commerce, they're hearing you. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Well, what about, we could even go beyond that, maybe out into the outer regions of space uh, where we could cross the, the time barrier. This boy is a dreamer, isn't he? You're, you're just right down my alley. That's the kind of thinking I love to see. Do you believe in Projection. Flying, flying saucers, do you believe in them? Dave? Oh, sure. Is there any doubt in your mind about flying saucers? Not in my mind. You know about flying saucers, of course. All this silly talk about them being... Uh, things with little people from other planets inside is just a dream world. That's just limiting what it can be. Your imagination, I hope, is just much better than that. See, flying saucers, 
And I'm pretty sure this, and then lots of people, uh, two or three, are beginning to agree, are not objects like planes filled with little people. They are the people. The things that you see are people. Gorilla Bouchonary! <laughs> Dr. Garraway! Sure. That's a great theory. Why, why should people just have uh, arms and, and legs and pretty red hair like you do? Why shouldn't people be made out of uh, different things? You're made out of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen. You know about that. But why shouldn't people be made out of magnesium and silicon and maybe they breathe nitrogen or, or something. That could different. be true, after all. When we first came on the air, people didn't believe us either. No. Well, they didn't think we were real, but we are. You found out, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, let's, how about going to the moon? Now, I'll tell you what. Since you're so really such an expert, you could, you could take care of all the mathematical formula and everything. I'll provide, I'll help build the rocket ship, and I'll get the money and finance it and stuff like that and go along. Well, if, if you would just do the mathematics, I'd be glad to arrange the rest of the... Uh, situation entirely. But, but I'm going to be pretty tied up uh, mathematically. I won't have much time to do figures, actually. But I'll be glad to contact the Chamber of Commerce and uh, to set up the publicity and do the exploitation and uh, contact the press and get but, the newspapers involved but, and the radio. We'll cover this with television. But Dave, you're a professor of astronomy. You know all those things. They said so. Kukla said it was in the papers that you were a professor at, at Harvard. Oh. Hmm? No, I didn't qualify for my merit badge, but I almost did. <laughs> I was coming on fine, and I dropped my pair of genuine French two-power opera glasses down the old well <laughs> just after I got them, and then that's as close as I got. Then you don't really know this is a meteor or meteorite or just a hunk of burned-out coal, do you? It says Bethlehem Steel Corporation, Gary, Indiana, there, real small. Did you see that? Couldn't be. Yeah. It does? I guess maybe just old slag from the steel mills, you think? It could be. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm sure it's a meteorite. I know it is. I'm sure it is. Well, oh, hello, David. Oh, here it is. The door stopped for the kitchen. <laughs> Wondered where it was. Oh, no, really? Oh, kid, that's a shame. I know just how you feel. You're a dreamer, though, just the same, aren't you? Well, it was... You like to project. It was as real to me as a... As a meteorite, after all. Isn't it nice, Ollie, to think, though, that if, if we are right, that maybe on one of those other little dots up in the sky are some real smart people who sort of like us, but who are much smarter and, and who know how to live with each other and what brotherly love is really made up and how to get it for everybody and how to have peace? I hope so. Kids, I got news to you. We got to get back down to Earth. I just have one thing oh. to say. Get the best. Get seal test. <laughs> Get the best. Get the old test. Say, Peggy, do you see what I see? Seal test. America's favorite ice cream. And look at this. Oh, my favorite flavor. Vanilla. Famous seal test vanilla. Mmm, that looks good. It's extra smooth and creamy. Patent flavor, too. That's what Kukla always says. And he's right. Why, you can't beat Seal Test Vanilla Ice Cream for pure goodness. I'd like some right now. Okay. Think I'll have some, too. Mmm. I wish everybody could have some. <laughs> well, they can. Order Creamy Smooth Vanilla from your Seal Test Ice Cream dealer. Buy the best. Buy Seal Test. Hello, this is Bert Tilstrom, thanking you very kindly on behalf of my little friend, Mercedes, who might say, if she were asked, Thank you. Thank you very much. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie are brought to you by the divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of Seal Test products. Always look for the name Seal Test. It's your assurance of purity, quality, and fine, rich flavor in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television.